All right. John Mark Caspar de Tard. Oh, the interpreters are going to change. All right, yep. Yeah. All right, ready to start? So, John Mark Gaspard Itard, he, he set up a deaf school. Before Miss Year, he set up the deaf school. Itard, that's his name, Itard. He figured, out the he figured out the opposite of what of what deaf people mean. Okay, so he first set up. He was one of the founders of audiology before the concept of the word deaf and he kind of went in depth with what the word deaf meant. Wild Boy, uh, as you can see here, do you know the story about that? About the quote, Wild Boy? Yep, okay, so there was a boy about mm, 10, 11, 12 years old. Uh, I don't really know specifics. He was naked running through the forest and this man actually saw him. He, I mean he was, he lived in the forest. He would eat raw meat. He, and that was seen as very strange and they actually caught him and brought him to the French school. And, you know, he, he would... Itard was considered a very intelligent doctor and he came in, tried to communicate with the boy and, you know, noticed that he was cold because he didn't have any clothes on, but he didn't care. And he worked and every day he worked with this boy. But understand, his, his goal was to, was sensory. To feel the senses. Warm, cold, sick. And to have the sensory and understand those, he thinks that that would be successful. He thought, felt that that would make him successful. All right, so as you can see here, they have drums and, I mean, the boy is deaf and he can't hear it, but it's hard would beat it and the boy would kind of look at him and ways of awakening the sense organs. And that was his goal with this. Okay, now that boy, wild boy, uh, failed an audiology test, and so they tried to focus on oralism. And he, it's hard to understand, would hit them in the ear with a hammer, would pour hot substances into their ear, different, many different awful things Clark that he would do to these boys and Clark would stick needles up their nose and sometimes um, 
the occurring results would be that they would die. <clears throat> he thought that deaf people were beneath hearing people, that they were equal to animals. He didn't see sign language as a success. He thought that they must speak to have language and that sign was not enough. So he tried to teach them to speak. He later realized that sign was important. He taught for about 20 years and then he realized the importance of sign language. But before that, the many years that he worked, he didn't understand the importance. He tried to force deaf students to, on the oralism method. He thought that speaking was more advanced language. I'm gonna just go ahead and skip him. Or maybe not. We're gonna discuss this though. The oralist training, y'all remember that? You, do you really understand that? Understand the concept, the ideas, how in depth that was? It was like parroting. You know what that means, right? Parroting. Do you really understand what that means? It means copying. It's the same concept with deaf children. They would just copy everything. They didn't really understand it. They would just copy the words. Like a parrot. Like a parrot. They just parroted everything. Laurent Clark. You know who this is. We're not gonna go too in depth with him, but he was French. And this is a statue in his hometown in France. He was the deaf grandfather of deaf children. One of his classmates, Ferdinand Berthier, um, he set up, he really improved on the intelligence of the setup of the deaf schools. Him and Itard really did not get along. They had opposing ideas. Itard wanted to set up, he said that to be intelligent, deaf kids needed to enter the oral schools. All advanced classes need to be offered in oralism, but they really opposed on this idea. Charles Darwin. Why is, why is he important for the history of sign language? Does anybody know why? He changed the he said that he changed the evolution of deaf people in their lives. Survival of the fittest. You're right. His theory was survival of the fittest. He believed that to survive on earth, only the fittest survived. The weak are not successful in life. People took this idea and interpreted it to mean that deaf people are not the fittest. After his death,
people interpreted this to mean that spoken language was the fittest. It was the superior. And a tard theory was used the same way so that he could look at deaf people as a lower species.